I'm Abby. And I'm Amy. And, and this is the AA meeting. AA what? AA hey. <laughs> panicked. <laughs> Same meeting. AA what? AA meeting. AA what? AA meeting. Can I get an AA? AA. <laughs> Wait, what's the chat? When it's like. When I say AA, oh, a, you yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah. When I say AA, a, you say meeting. AA. A. Meeting. AA. A. Meeting. When I say hot, you say bitches. Hot. Bitches. Hot. Bitches. When I say besties, you say wow, besties. Wow, besties. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. I was trying to think of something that wouldn't offend our besties, and so I just came up with wow. <laughs> I didn't actually know what the word was, so oh. I was like, I'll just do a W, just and, do a some, w yeah. and some vowel sounds. Yeah, <laughs> you'll just like riff it off. Yeah, yeah. Um, if that welcome. doesn't get you hyped for a Monday, for a Wednesday, for a Wednesday, it's Monday. It's not for even us. Monday. No, oh my God, it's, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Wow, oh. the days really blend together when you do nothing. Hey? They really do. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Another week. The vibes are high this morning. Mm. We just listened to what's that song called? This could be. This could be an everlasting love. Yeah, that's just yeah. such a feel-good song, isn't it? Yeah. You can't listen to that and be sad. You just can't. So if you can hear us catching our breath, that's why. Yeah, because we just because we braved. film the dance tro first to get us in the mood. Yeah. To get the good vibes flowing. Yeah. And um, you know, sometimes it really takes us out of us. It really. Wait, what? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> My coffee's still processing. Um, I think mine's well and truly hit. Hey, you know when, like, I feel like you have a coffee and either it makes you just, like, really anxious or you're, like, buzzing. You know what I mean? I'm Mm. buzzing. I feel like it does the same thing. Is not anxious and buzzing the same thing? Well, I mean, like, either I'm anxious and I'm shaky and I, like, feel really off or I'm, like... Like, I can't blink because my eyes are so open and I'm, like, oh, yeah, true. in a really good mood. Oh, okay. You know? No, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. Anyway, um, welcome. I, do you have anything else to add? No. Nah. I think we should get straight into it. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. I say roll, you say the intro, roll. The intro. Roll. The intro. You. Welcome to my up home, I'm Lou Shorty, these my hoes, this is how we run this shit, piss Olympics, let's go. Um, so welcome back, yes. another week, another episode. Another day, another s- starbies, I'm not talking okay, I'm just More gonna coffee. sit here and More sip coffee. this and you go ahead. Okay, um, yeah, so we're still in lockdown, I know we said we wouldn't talk about it, but that's just the way things are and that's why we don't have any weekly recaps It's been at two all. months. It has, yeah, it's just the eighth week. This fr- yeah, this Friday or Thursday will be the end of the eighth week, starting the ninth. Yeah, right. It feel like I feel like it's actually gone really quick though. Like I feel like we've only been in for like yeah, three weeks. Yeah, but I can't remember maybe. what life without like not the. I'm gonna keep sitting my <laughs> coffee. I don't know what's going on the, yeah. with my mouth and talking right now. But like, no, I feel like I can't remember what life used to be like. No, I know. Like these two months, I feel like have been my entire life. For yeah. Two years. Mm. You know. Yeah, I'm a bit to hear it. I did want to say, like, we keep saying we're not going to talk about it because we want high vibes only. But mm. I do want to say that, like, <clears throat> it is really tough, and if you are in Sydney or in an area in a lockdown and you need someone to talk to our DMs are always open because I know that like like the number of times I've been like thank god I live with With you two yeah Yeah, if I was by myself this would just be so difficult so if you are struggling um feel free to shoot us maybe someone can register us as their singles bubble (gasps) and we can hang out oh my god true so if you live by yourself and you have no one then send us a DM yeah I thought you were going with that um, if you live in Sydney and you're in lockdown, like stay the fuck home. <laughs> oh, that too, yeah. please. But like, it is tough. So if you're struggling, like you're not alone and you can shoot us a message. I wanted to say that for a few weeks because yeah. I just think it's not easy, my friends. It's not. It's not easy being green. It's not. Life's hard when you're a 10. Yep. And in lockdown. Yep. The world doesn't deserve to be deprived of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. People need to see... <clears throat> All the hot outfits that I have bought online shopping in the past two months. I know. We were literally saying this morning, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to wear on the podcast today because I literally have a whole new wardrobe. Options. Yeah. You know what? I'm wearing my old clothes right now. But I'm wearing okay. new clothes. Exactly, so, exactly. like, people need to see the new outfits. I agree. I agree. Thank God we have the podcast to show off. I know. Um, speaking of 
online shopping. Mm. Um, we've been doing a lot of that. Too much of that. And I feel like... The postman hates us. He, he threw Yaz's package at the front door yesterday. I heard him. He yeah. threw it. It yeah. was airborne. They're just, they're done with us. We they're get a package enough. every single day. At least one. Yeah. Like I don't even know it. which ones are coming at the moment. Like I have one coming. We actually all have one coming today. Today, yeah. I don't even know which one mine is that's coming. Oh, really? Yeah, I got a text because I bought like 20 things off Amazon. So I got a text saying it's coming from Amazon, but I don't know what it is. That's so I'm funny. I'm excited for it to come. But I feel like the thing is, I was saying to Yaz, oh, Yaz and I were talking about it this morning, and we were saying how like once you start lockdown online shopping, that's all you have to look forward to. So then mm. once all your packages come, you're like, maybe I should just buy something. Like I don't have anything to look forward to now, so I'm just going to buy more things. Yeah, I feel anxious when there's not something on the way. Yeah. Like my packages, almost, almost all of them are almost here. mm so you're going to have to so I'm going to have to buy something else. Yeah. Just so I have something to look forward to. Yeah. Um, if you're also in that stage of lockdown, let us know. I feel like that's pretty common. Surely everyone's going through that. Surely we don't just well, we have a problem. We did this last time, like a year ago. Yeah. Today, you know, not today, but like this time last year. Yeah. We all were having packages delivered like every day. Yeah, true. It's just something to keep you going. It is. But like I'm at the point now where I have... Like, I shouldn't buy more clothes because now I'm just buying things. Like, I'm like, oh, that'll be cute when we go out. But, like, that's ages away. Yeah. Oh, no. Now I'm to the point where I'm buying things that I don't need to buy. Yeah. Not, not just clothes. Like, I bought a phone case. Like, yeah. I really don't need a new phone case. But I bought one. And then yeah. I bought face masks because I thought they were cute, you know? Yeah. So, like. Anyway, anyway. send help. Um, <clears throat> speaking of things we do in lockdown. Yes. Um, what are some other things that we can do in lockdown? Just to. To help our friends at home, our besties at home, who are looking for things to do. Mm. Well, the obvious is just go on TikTok. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's a good one. That's really good for the mind, body and soul. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Um, and it takes up a lot of time Yeah. Too. Yeah, I feel like you time travel when you open the TikTok app. Yeah, hours go by. <clears throat> yeah. Um, you can bake. A lot of people were baking bread last year, remember? Oh, yeah. I never got around to that. I really want to try making my own bread. Do you have any? <laughs> that's, all right. that's that's my whole How statement. You, you could like build something, such as. Um, I didn't think you were going to ask me that, oh, but sorry. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna come up on the, on the spot here with something. You could build a um like a chicken coop. Why don't you buy chickens? You could buy chicken. Yeah, and you could have your own free range eggs. Now there's an idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like you have plenty of time, so you don't have to worry about like the time consuming upkeep. You exactly. Know? Um. I was going to say we're starting group circuit workouts mm-hmm. and so every day, well not every day, but every day that we do it, one person gets to lead a workout. That's been, well we haven't actually started yet, but that will be fun. Yeah. Today's our first day, we're going to try that. Yeah. Um, um, you could just like go for a run, run from your problems. Mm-hmm. Run yeah. from your problems, yeah. If you're, and if you don't like running, here's a tip, run at night and play zombie noises on your phone. But you will never run so fast. Yes, but there are scary people out at night time. Yeah, but if you're running that fast, like there's no way they're going to They won't even you. bother. No. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And if you're making the zombie noises, they will run from <laughs> you. <laughs> true, true. Last lockdown, we painted our own beer pong table. Mm-hmm. That took up a lot some of time. Some arts and crafts. Yeah, some arts some and crafts. Pottery. pottery. I've yeah. always wanted to try pottery. I've always wanted to do that thing where... You're doing the pottery and then like, you're like from ghost, ghost yeah. and sits behind you do the pottery and it's just so like <laughs> the vibes are immaculate. Um, you could like reenact the Last Supper. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If we did it, who would be Jesus? Can I be Jesus? No, I want to be Jesus. Okay. Well, let's make Yaz is in here. She can be Judas. <laughs> is Judas the one who betrays? The traitor. I'm okay, pretty sure. Okay, you could be Simon. Is that his name? I don't know. That's all I, I only know about Jesus and Judas because Judas is the traitor, Mary. the rest of it. I don't think she was there, but yeah, I'll be Mary. Oh. <laughs> it was She's just at the, the door knocking on the door. Have yeah. you got enough food in there, honey? Yeah. Even though, you know what? I watched this thing. I don't even know how I came across it. <laughs> I watched the last one. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a, it might have come up on Facebook or YouTube or TikTok or something. I don't know. But anyway, basically there's like this new conspiracy theory that there was a woman at the last supper. So maybe I'll be her. I don't know. If you're super religious and that made you angry, just keep Sorry. just actually pretend no I didn't say that. But like, you know, <laughs> but like, look up the videos. But anyway, like, look at your source. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like true. Really take a deep, hard, long. That's what's the word? 
long hard look. Take a long hard look at the at the tomato sauce. I'm not I'm not sure what she means, but yeah, good. <laughs> okay. Um reenact the last supper, good. Um I wanna try bungee jumping off our balcony deck thing. <laughs> In a safe way. I'm not bungee trying jumping to hurt or like ab sailing. What's ab- Do you know what they used to think ab sailing was like you do abs? <laughs> like it was like an ab on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Have you seen how they sail? Okay, in the Olympics, it was like all, all over TikTok. Everyone's like, go off queen. Like, that's what you're doing. Okay, the way that they like keep the boat from like tipping when they're like sailing around the corners really quick is they're like fully parallel to the water, mm. like the sailors. And they're holding onto the ropes and their feet are on the side of the boat. And they are just like thrusting the shit out of like the air. Really? To like keep them up. Interesting. Anyway, so I thought that was like abseiling. <laughs> but like with your abs, not with your hips. Anyway. Yeah, do you mean abseiling? Wait, you're going to have to tell me what abseiling actually is. We did it on school camp, I remember. Yeah. And you're on top of like a rock climbing thing or whatever. And you go down. Down, yeah, yeah, the little hops, the yeah. little hops. No, bungee jumping. Because <laughs> if you do little hops, like say, I mean, we're in a house with a deck. But like if you were in... Uh, an apartment block with a balcony you couldn't abseil on people's balconies you know what i mean if you bungee jump you would just hit a balcony i'm not saying it's a flawless plan okay. <laughs> just saying it's an idea it does sound fun <laughs> yeah who was it didn't tyler jump off that i wasn't here for that yeah, at my birthday how far did he, i asked Yaz this the other day and she said she didn't see it how far did he jump like where did he land in the grass like there's literally stairs right next to it and we we're playing pong and the ball like went over the balcony yeah but, like it's not like our balcony like is it mm. and that's our property no we have a yard yeah over, like the balcony overlooks the yard and so you just go down the stairs to the yard but um yeah no he put hiked legs over and then like climbed down the white panelling and then was hanging and then jumped off. Oh, right. Oh, okay. It wasn't too bad. That's but not it's that the far. fact that like we have all those, whoopsies, we have like the built-in garden yeah. beds and stuff, so the brick layering. Yeah. So if he, and we were drinking, so if he jumped and hit his head, that was yeah. a problem. Right. Because anyway, I didn't... everyone else thought it was funny. I don't understand. I was the only person who told him not to do it. Yeah. <laughs> And everyone, and which is ironic because normally I'm the one who's like, do it, or I'm like, I'll do it. You yeah. Know? But I was the only one who was yelling at him to not do it. And everyone was else, everyone else was like, oh, you're a pussy. You won't do it. Um, like, you can do it. You can do it. You know? I didn't know he hung there and dropped. I thought, like, when you said he jumped up, I literally thought you meant he stood there and, like, <laughs> jumped as far as he could past the... Spider-Man. Um, yeah, past the garden bed things that's why i was like oh my god that's so scary and then he tried to get back up it <laughs> and he jumped in like <laughs> at least he's quite tall so it's not like it would have been a far drop mm. interesting interesting um do you have any more things to do in lockdown um you could just like <clears throat> do some performance art for your neighbors in your backyard in your front yard yeah like on the driveway or something so you're not breaking any rules but you mm. could like paint yourself that's kind and of fun. Do some like movement out there. I like that. Yes. Maybe you could put a hat out. You could like bus. You could earn some oh, money. That's a good idea. Yeah. Hustling in lockdown. I like it. Yeah. Um, you could get your housemates or your family together and reenact an entire Shakespearean play. They Ooh. take hours and hours and hours to not only understand but like to read. learn the words and read. Yeah. So that would take you a few days, I reckon, Did to you put do that Macbeth together. Did in high school? Yes. Every oh, year we crazy. had to do a different one. Yeah, I still don't understand. They used to give us, like, the books with, like, the Shakespearean words on one side and then, like, the, in- the translation to, like, normal really? words on the side. We never had translation. Oh, really? That made it a lot. I don't think we had it in, like, year 11 and 12, but, like, because th- every year from year 8 we would do a Shakespearean play. Yeah, okay. So why is sh- – okay, never <clears> mind. <throat> I was just, it was going to delve in. It was just going to be too much. Anyway. Okay. Um, surely we can think of one more each. Yeah. Um, but, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Maybe you could play mermaids. Okay, yeah. Yeah. 
do you want to elaborate? Like, well, if you have thinking, a pool, then yeah. that's easier. But, I mean, you can do click and collect from Kmart and get a $7 blow-up pool mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and um, tie your ankles together and play mermaids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get some I used- goggles or snorkel while you're at it. Yeah, nice. I used to love, my sister and I used to play H2O just add water. Yeah. And we would go under the water in the pool at home mm. and there would be, like, leaves and stuff on the bottom of the wa- of the pool. And we would, like, clap and, like, pretend to push them but wouldn't actually touch them mm. but because of like the not the waves but you know like the current yeah, yeah. stuff in the water it would like move them <laughs> and so we were thought we were magical that's so funny i used yeah. to love playing h2o but i have a brother so he didn't used to want to play with oh, me was he lucas no well i used to make him play mermaids with me but he would only play if I played Lego Batman with him in the pool. Explain that. I don't know. Um, and then our like game together of choice that we wouldn't argue over was we would play um, Lifesavers. And so one of us would drown, the other person would save them, and then the other person oh. would drown. <laughs> we used to play that lifeguard. Yeah. And um, But we used to play it with my dog, my old dog, oh. like growing up. Um, and she was the lifeguard. <gasps> and so... My, because she hated when anyone was ever in the pool, near the pool. She would run around and bark and like Mm -hmm. think that you were drowning. And so my sister and I would like pretend to drown and we would like go near the edge of the pool. And my dog, like she wasn't being vicious or anything, but she would bite your neck and your shoulder and try and grab you and then drag you over the step. Like she was trying to like move you to the step to get you out of the pool. That's so sweet. And so my sister and I would be like, ah! (laughs) Ah! (laughs) The dog like bites us and drags us. That's so cute though that she was trying to help. And she used to like, she was the best dog ever. She used to, when she was hungry, she would get her like, dinner bowl and she would put her paw in it so it would flip up and she would bite it and then she would walk around with her bowl in her mouth until she got fed that's the cutest thing i've ever heard in my entire and life if we weren't home or anything she would sit at the front gate looking out with a bowl in her mouth waiting till we got home oh. or like if we were inside she would sit at the back door like staring at us with a bowl in her mouth she'd do it for hours oh that is so cute and she used to get the newspaper Oh. and like bring it up to us i want a dog so bad speaking of things still in lockdown yesterday i spent literally a po- probably two hours looking at different adopter pet websites oh um, i do that all the time when i'm sad and i was like i was kind of close like th- that's the closest i've ever come and i called my mum because it was my dog's birthday yesterday which i think is why i was like in the the i really want a dog um and i called my mum and i was telling her about it and she was like amy you can't i was like mum, i'm 21 i can do what i want please yeah <laughs> i want a dog so bad me too Anyway, so there are some ideas for you if yeah. you're looking for something to do in lockdown. Or another thing, just message us. Yeah, exactly. Not personal DMs on the AA meeting. Yeah, I don't look at my requests. I'm sorry. So <laughs> I'm too busy to look at um, my requests. Well, because I just get all those bloody, it's either collab with us or do you want to be a multimillionaire through my e-commerce yeah, thingy. Yeah, all like That's it. ones. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um... Moving right along. Yeah. So Father's Day is coming up. It is. A few weeks away. Have you thought of anything to get your dad? No idea. I'm really struggling. I don't think he... I was about to say... I didn't want to say anything, but I don't think dad watches anymore anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so mum does. Hi, mum. Um, hey, guys. But dad was like to me one day, he was like, it's just not really my demographic. Like, I'm not your demographic. I was like, yes, but I'm your daughter. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> anyway. My dad watches it and he said that as well, though. Yeah. He's like, I'm not your target audience. Yeah, yeah. I was like, but it's like I'm on TV. It's like yeah. you're watching me on TV. Yeah. And he was like, okay. Anyway. I think he's a couple behind, but yeah, right. he probably put it on in the background. Yeah. Um, do you know what you're getting your dad for today? Well, I asked him and do you want to know what he said he wanted? Like mm. he was like, okay, you and Olivia can, you know, put your dollars together. He wants a Tesla. <laughs> I literally said to him, I was like, is there like a cutoff date? Because like, <laughs> this is going to be in many, many, many decades that I would consider buying you a Tesla. Let alone yourself a Tesla. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's I would love. I would bold. love to give my dad a Tesla. I yeah. really would. But I can't even give myself enough food for the week. Yeah. Like let alone, you know. Anyway. Yeah. So, um, you know what he said that he would he would take as a compromise. Mm. I'm not even making this shit up. Manscaped. We must be doing a good job, hey? <laughs> right? And so yesterday I literally went on 
and um, I used our code <laughs> <laughs> and I bought dad stuff for, from Manscaped for, his, for Father's Day. Very good. Yeah. Well, that's a good idea, Abby. Mm. Maybe I should get my dad Manscaped. I hope he's not watching. Oh, well, I hope my dad's not watching because then I've just ruined his. Don't listen to that, Dad. Yeah, but everyone else, about that. listen up. You guys should be getting your father mm-hmm. the best gift that he will ever receive. Uh-huh, exactly right. I feel like Father's Day is hard to shop for. I yeah. always struggle with Father's Day. It's always Day. between a Bunnings gift card or a Dan Murphy's gift card. Yeah, sometimes I just get a whole slab of beer delivered to the house yeah. just for fun. Yeah, so this year... We're stepping it up. Add some flavour to the mix and get him some Manscaped. Uh Uh-huh. Use code AAMeeting for 20% off and free shipping. Mm -hmm. At www.manscaped.com. Yes. Um, Manscaped is also cruelty-free, paraben-free, and completely vegan. Yes, exactly right. And that's what we love to hear. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So um, what can they get from Manscaped? Okay, well, first of all, Manscaped's just come out with the new Lawnmower 4.0. Yes. Which... 4.0. I know what you're thinking. For so long, we were going on about how great the 3.0 is. Wait till you get your karate little fingers (laughs) on this mofo. Imagine. Okay, no. Let me just set the scene for you. Imagine giving this to your dad on Father's Day. He opens it up. It's a whole new new balls game. Okay. (laughs) I'm picturing my dad and I think he would love that. Yeah. This looks like the Batmobile. So it's the it next does. best thing since the Tesla. Exactly. Yeah, your dad wanted you know, a Tesla. So dad, dad will enjoy this. I think that he'll compromise for the Batmobile instead of his Tesla. I think so, so um, oh, shit. <laughs> um, 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 it's drop safe. <laughs> <laughs> My pop feels recording. So... <laughs> It comes with a light and a whistle for... Oh! <laughs> Was that a joke or did that just come out of your <laughs> skin? <laughs> you know what air hostie says? Comes with a light and a whistle for attracting attention. <laughs> oh, I meant um, to say that it has a light on it, but yeah. that just came out. <laughs> so it has anyway, an LED light. There's an LED light on it. That you can now turn on and off. So the 3.0 used to just have... The light, and now um, if you don't need the light, if you're already in, if you're shaving your balls in the sunlight already, <laughs> then um, you can turn the light off. It um, it has, has a ceramic blade, uh huh. Thanks to their advanced skin safe mm-hmm. technology, reduces the boo boos. Yes. Um, it also has a seven thousand RPM thingy. motor. <laughs> we yeah. tried it. We tested it. We did. We did. We did. It works, and we love it. And we love it. Um, what else can you get from Man's? Oh, if you want to get the whole whole shebang, the whole gift box yes. situation, perfect package 4.0. The 4.0. What comes in that? So you get your 4.0 lawnmower. Batman you Bill. get your ball deodorant and your ball toner, so mm-hmm. the crop reviver and the crop preserver. Mm-hmm. You also get a free toiletries bag, mm-hmm. which is incredible. It's mm-hmm. nice and big, a big fat toiletries bag. That's it's what we like to nice. hear. Um, you also get, where are they? Your chundies. Chundies. <laughs> your knickers. Yeah. Um, High performance boxer briefs. Yep. You get a newspaper for your hair trimming uh-huh. to pick up all those, you know, little friends. Ew. <laughs> yep. Um, there are heaps of other things on their website too, though. For example, the shears. The shears are some fancy, uh, shmanchy, uh, And we can show you. So it comes in like this cute little magnetic cap. Mm-hmm. Um, comes with tweezers, nail clippers, grooming scissors, and a file. Mm-hmm. And guys, this shit's good. Like it's only, I think it's 30 bucks or something. And then with our discount, it comes down so much. Mm-hmm. And this is a perfect gift, not just for your dad for Father's Day, but for everyone. Like your mom, your grandma, your dog, mm-hmm. your sister, your, your sneaky link, whoever you want. This is a great little gift. Um, like you said, there's a lot of other stuff on the site, not just for boys, but for ladies. Mm-hmm. And um, there's some t-shirts, which are really, really cool. Yep. So jump on that and make sure you use our code at checkout, AA meeting, all in capitals, at www.manscape.com. Mm-hmm. You'll get 20% off and free shipping. Sorry yep. to cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about it. Not sorry about it. Okay. Um, let's get back to the schedule programming. Thanks, Manscaped. Thanks, Manscaped. All right, moving right along, this next little topic was sent in by Jessie. Yeah. Hi, Jessie. Hey, Hey, Jessie. Jessie. 
It feels like a party every day. Hey, Jesse. Oh my God, she is like off the rails nowadays. Is, is it she? Debbie Ryan? Mm-hmm. God, have you seen all those TikToks? Oh, she's the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is she? There's just something going on in that brain that's not normal. Sorry, babes. <laughs> Um, anyway. I can't say I keep up with her, but I did, was a big fan of Jessie for a while there. Um, okay, so Jessie asked, her to talk, asked us to talk about the best drunk foods and our kebab order. Yeah. Um, well, the best food to eat when you're drunk. When you're drunk, yes. And we really want to talk about kebabs for a reason that you'll find out in a second. Um, <clears throat> so other than kebabs, what are some good drunk foods? Hot chippies. Hot chippies. That's just a good any any day nutritious uh-huh. and delicious meal. Uh huh. Um, snack packs. Yeah. Going on from the kebab thing, euros, which mm. is very similar in pizza. my opinion. But pizza. Anything that's like greased and probably fried is oh, yeah. a really good way to go. It's generally a kebab though. A genuine, generally a kebab, yeah. And not one of those things where it's like a. Stick with meat on it, not no, no. those kebabs. The kebab wrap ones. Yeah. Um, oh, my mouth is watering thinking about me it. Me too. I love kebabs. I miss Adams. What's your kebab order, Abby? Kebabby. I get a um, falafel kebab with garlic sauce and sweet chili sauce. Garlic and sweet. Guys, if you don't get garlic sauce and sweet chili sauce on your kebab, then you are missing The combo out. is insane. It is. I used to get... Like blend. Mm. I think I used to get barbecue or just garlic or something like that i don't know but then i tried garlic and sweet chili and i've never i can't never go back. back yeah um i get a beef kebab with everything but no onions and garlic and sweet chili sauce Did you get beef i thought you got chicken no because one time i had a euros with chicken and um oh this is gonna make me feel sick they hadn't taken the skin off the chicken properly and they oh, were, i don't want to know that's enough thank you <laughs> I'm still not over it. Like, I can't have... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. The only time I have chicken now for anything is if I cook it myself because right. I okay. am scarred. Yeah, yeah. of course, of course. Um, and I just don't eat chicken. Well, yeah. I don't eat meat, so... So, yeah, I Falafel. get beef, usually. Yeah. Um, but speaking of kebabs... Yeah. We wanted to give you some hot tips. Okay, guys, this is an educational podcast, okay? Yeah. And if you think otherwise, then you're wrong. Everything has been fact checked yeah like you know so like we we've only we only spit facts we do we do yeah we're only here to teach you good lifelong lessons um on the important topics such as how to get a freak a bad one a night out mm, mm. <laughs> this has been um tried and tested uh-huh and it, it is sucks. actually abby's specialty yeah so. i'm great at it okay so first of all this is what we always give people advice about it's about having a fat chat. Okay? Exactly. Everything in life comes down to just having the tough conversations. Yeah, it's about, well, it's about having the gift of the gab uh-huh. when you drink. Yeah. Which, like, I do. Yeah. I feel like we all do, but I just love to chat. Mm-hmm. And, um, well, fitting because we have a podcast, which <laughs> is great. But, um, yeah, so what you got to do is you just chat. Uh huh. Genuine conversation. Uh huh. Right? Nothing about. Don't order anything. Don't mm-hmm. order anything. Let all your friends order, and you chat. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think. Wait, just to interrupt. Sorry. If they're really busy, this probably won't work because oh, yeah, they'll just no. get angry at you. But the whole thing is like, they stand there every night and serve drunk, ungrateful idiots. Right. Yeah. You need to be the light of their night. Yeah. You know, you come in and you genuinely ask them how they are and how their night's going well if i'm can i just put a little what's the word preface is that the right word Mm -hmm, sure um uh, when i did this i wasn't in the mindset that i wanted to freak about i was being genuine like i was genuine genuinely wanting to talk to him because i felt bad that he always stands there and asks for everyone else's order and asks how they are but no one ever asks how exactly you know and so i felt bad and so i wanted to talk to him but it just so happens that there's yeah. a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. And I think, like, usually we get there kind of towards when they're closing. And mm. so you got to think, like, he's been standing on his feet for eight hours trying to deal with drunk people who don't know what they want. Yeah. Like, just be nice to them. Yeah. So, basically, 
what I was doing is I was just talking to him. <laughs> this segment is so messed up. Life. I was there for about half an hour and I was asking about his life. I was asking him how he came to like own a kebab shop and like blah, 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 all this stuff. I was going ham and I couldn't even see straight. I remember I was stumbling over. Yeah. I was like, had to hold on to the kebab, like the, um, the case, like the glass yeah, yeah. casing. And I remember asking him what his dream was and what his oh, passion that's was. that's really sweet. And he... He wanted to own his own business. And this kebab shop was called Ali's Kebab. And he was Ali. Yeah. Okay. And then I was so excited because I said to him, well, you've done it. Yeah. You've accomplished your dreams. Like yeah. you are Ali and you are <laughs> owning your own business. I was like, look at you go, you queen. Just you hyping serious? him up. <laughs> I know. And his friends were like laughing in the background. And I was like, you have accomplished your dreams. You were such an inspiration to everyone. Like, And I was trying to tell all you guys. Everyone was just sitting there feeding yeah. their kebabs, like inhaling so them. Hungry. And I was like, guys, this is Ali. This is <laughs> Ali from Ali Kebabs. <laughs> anyway, then I told him that my nickname that everyone calls me because I love kebabs. Mm. Everyone calls me Kebabby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and so I told him that my nickname's Kebab, Kebabby, and he thought that was amazing and he wanted to give me a free kebab. Yeah. He said, whatever you want, whatever you want, Kebabby. And I was like, no, I can't. I'll have a full apple. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. This segment is so, like, this is just how to hustle small business. <laughs> it's horrible. But when I say no, it's going to work every genu- time. I was genuine. I was being... <laughs> genuine i was being genuine i was being genuine i didn't yeah. want a free kebab but that's what happened out of it and you know what it was it was like good karma it was yeah. like i was being nice to someone and i was like letting them talk because yeah. he would never do that yeah and it is it's lovely i maybe we shouldn't have called this how to get a free kebab though maybe yeah. we should have just been like here's a story about the time everyone's gonna, gonna go into ali kebab and be like you're ali can i have a falafel <laughs> kebab <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're Ali. <laughs> I've heard about you. <laughs> this is your passion. <laughs> <laughs> Kebabby told me. Kebabby sent me. <laughs> Actually, everyone go to Ali Kebabs. It's on Oxford Street. Yeah, but we're not saying you're going to get free kebabs. We're saying you Say should Kebabby support Kebabby sent you. <laughs> Kebabby sent me. <laughs> Oh good. Anyway, um, let's move on. Let's. But yeah, I so drunk, drunk food is a kebab for sure. Yeah. And how to hustle a free kebab is to just be <laughs> yourself and maybe have maybe it helps having a nickname that rhymes with like kebab or something. Yeah. Speaking of drinking, mm-hmm. as we always do. Yeah. How many drinks mm-hmm. would it take for you to kiss? Uh huh. Your. I'm trying to wrap my head around this. Try to kiss to kiss your female friends when we turn them into male friends. Yeah, okay. So this has been a big thing on TikTok <laughs> recently um, where people are using that face app app and turning their friends. You change the gender of your friend. Yeah. So we're going to – our friends don't know we're doing this either. We're just going to send them the link to the episode <laughs> when it's out. Um, but we're going to turn our friends into boys and then talk about how many drinks it would take us to – to kiss them. To kiss them on a night out. Which, like, I feel like all of it's going to be not many considering we kiss them anyway as their girl versions on nights <laughs> out. So. You guys have no... Okay, so we did it to Amy and, our, and me. Oh, it's terrifying. You have no idea the cackles that came out of us <sighs> when we saw ourselves as the boy version. <laughs> I have never laughed so hard or been so scared of a photo and so turned on at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to get photos from their Instagram so they don't get mad at me for being yeah. photos. They don't lie. Yeah. So if you're listening to this, sorry, not sorry, you're going to have to jump over to the YouTube version of it. Mm-hmm. So you can have a look at our friends with us. Alrighty, I've compiled some screenshots. Mm-hmm. Okay, first off, I'm going to do my dear friend Yasmin. Okay. Um, she is in the house right now. She doesn't... <laughs> Okay, so I'll put them on the screen, the before and afters for you guys. <laughs> <How many? laughs> that mo that she's got going on. I can do it with no facial hair. No, the facial hair makes... Yeah, otherwise she... 
No, the facial, the facial hair is better. Okay. How many drinks for you to hook up? Oh, yes, I'm it's... sorry, but like, bottles of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> Obviously, this is if I was single, don't get upset. Um, yeah, it'd take at least a couple of shots of absinthe. I think. Right, okay, so you're like less. <laughs> yeah. Next. Okay, next up we have Ella. Our lovely friend Ella. <clears throat> um, she looks like... No, you know what? The eyes tell a story because she does do. have beautiful eyes. She also, does. you need to think about it. She'd be tall. Yeah. I'm saying a couple shots. No, yeah. I'm saying a couple glasses of wine. Yeah. Maybe about four glasses of wine and yeah. I'll be good. Yeah. I think I'm about the same. Yeah. Or like champagne hits you harder. So like two or three glasses. Yeah. Of because look at the smile. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next. Ahem, I believe it's Kirby. Yes. Okay. Next up, Kirby. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys have met Kirby over the phone in previous episodes. Holy heck! Whoa! That looks like a real boy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that sounds no, mean. but like no, no. The other transformations, you could tell it was our friend. That doesn't look like Kirby. She's not like. She looks like a trader. I was just about to say she looks like yeah. a rookie. No, but it wouldn't take me any. <laughs> can you? Can I see a bit better? It would take. Um, I'd still. It'd have to take me. I reckon a couple rum and cokes. I reckon like six or seven rum and cokes. No, babe, it's three cruises and I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alrighty, let's go next. <clears throat> okay, next up we've got Montana. I feel like she's going to be hot. I think so too. Not that bad. looks like someone I know. Wait, wait, not bad. No, no, it's not bad. Sorry, the reaction was bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not bad. Uh, that's a couple shots. Yeah. That's that's probably, that's like, that's like four shots. She looks like the boy version of Yasmin's cousin, don't you reckon? Like, they kind of look alike. <laughs> nice eyes. The more, the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm thinking less shots, two shots. Yeah, I'm loving the frosted tip look. Me too. <laughs> it works. I'm two Two shots. Two yeah. shots of vodka and I'm I reckon good. a couple ciders. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Next up, we've got Sarian. Ahem. Here we go. I don't know if this photo is going to work. Oh, it works. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, what? Okay. okay. Does she not look like a male model? <laughs> oh, wow. No alcohol necessary. No. Sober. Wow. Come here. Fuck so <laughs> her up. That's wow. crazy. It looks so funny with the chest. Yeah, when they blur out the chest. Wow. Sarian looks. Good for you, Sari. Incredible. Yeah. No no drinks necessary. No. <laughs> Sober. Okay, next up is Lexi. Mm-hmm. Schmexy Lexi. I think I picked a bad photo. Like, it hasn't done it properly, <laughs> but I think we should react it. Anyway. It's the hair. Because you can see her normal hair. Oh, it's kind of cute. Look at her smile. And it's, it's like, like it's Lexi's smile. It's like mist where her chin is, so the <laughs> beard is like on her forehead pretty much, but that's fine. Aw, look at the smile. Yeah, very sweet. You know what? Kind face. Wouldn't take me that many drinks, I don't think. I reckon a couple of vodka Red Bull, maybe three vodka Red Bull. No, that'll put me in cardiac mm. arrest. One vodka Red Bull, two vodka lime sodas, and I'm there. Okay. Um, I reckon about five gin and tonics. Yeah, fair. Okay, yeah. lovely. Sky. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. This is a good photo, so I feel like this one will... I think so too. Oh my God, wow. that looks like... Um, that looks like Chris Evans is an ass man. No, Ryan Reynolds. Chris Evans has like, like you know how Ryan Reynolds no, that has looks like, like a small Chris face? Evans to me. 
So if Chris Evans and Ryan Reynolds had a baby, it would be the Sky, the boy version of Sky. That's yeah, what we've so, decided. So that is like less than no drinks necessary. Yeah. Like I've just woken up in That's the morning. That's like in like, my dream. Yeah. Wow. wow. Congratulations, Sky. That's incredible. Good for you. Good for you, Sky. <laughs> I can't relate. My boy version was terrible. Mine was scary. I did not look okay. And before you ask, no, we're not showing you. <laughs> Last one is Maddie. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> it's the it's the red hair but the black beard for me. Yeah, and it's like Wait, um, can I see? the app is confused about where her. I think where her. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry, Maddie. Two bottles of tequila. <laughs> yeah, it's the coloring for me. Yeah. Smack my ass like a drum. Boom, 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 um, I'm gonna give it <laughs> a skull half a bottle of um of vodka. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maddie. I'd like to clarify that we think all of our friends are beautiful. Like you'll see yeah. the before and after. They are all stunning. It's just the boy version and this app that you know. Um, we're sorry if you didn't want that on the internet because now it's here forever. But. What can you do? Let us know if you guys like that and mm. we can do um, our guy friends and oh, switch them idea. to females. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. we can do like some audience members. <laughs> <laughs> I feel mean well, if we did that. You can't be like two bottles of tequila. <laughs> um, moving right along. Yeah. What's sticky? Sticky day. It's like a sticky pillow. All right. This week I only wanted to do one. Okay. Okay. So. Hey girls, not sure if this would class as a sticky date or not, and I probably sound like such an ass, but I went on a Tinder date um, at the beginning of the year, and the guy told me that he didn't book a table, in brackets, at one of the busiest restaurant bars in Surface. Yeah, so I'm imagining like the Pav or something, yeah, you know, where like, like you just can't get in yeah. unless you wait like four hours. Um, and instead of Snapchatting my friend, and instead of Snapchatting my friend in quotes, this <laughs> didn't book a table, I accidentally sent it to him. <gasps> oh no! The date still went ahead and it was the most awkward date I've ever been on. Did he open it while they were there? Yeah. <laughs> the group next to us personally bought over a vodka shot to our table just for me because they could see how shit it was and he sat there in silence. Safe to say that that was the fastest I've ever thrown back a shot. The date was coming to an end and he asked me to go on a second date. What? At his house to meet his family. But he didn't talk to her. So is he mad at her or not? I don't know. That was really nice of the other group to send over a shot. Yeah. Like imagine I've sat like at restaurants and bars and stuff and been like they're on a first date and it's going badly. Yeah. Um, so that's really nice of them. But oh no, that's terrible. I know. That's so fun. And, like, the start of the year, this year, that was when on the Gold Coast you had to book to get in everywhere. Yeah. Like, because of COVID. Yeah. Oh, dear me. They still got a table, though. Yeah, That's they good. must have waited for an hour, though. Yeah. At least. That is so... <laughs> it's just so unfortunate when you send something to the wrong person. That like, is I've the done worst. it before and I've screenshot a conversation and I've gone to send it to a friend or something and I've sent it to the person I've screenshot it. Yeah. In. And I just go... Whoopsies, like I accidentally screenshot it. Like, yeah. Because you can't go wrong person because then they know that you're going to screenshot it. You're talking you're shit. to send it to someone else. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I've done it. It's just bad. A couple of times. One time I, I mean, like I've done it with like friends and st- not accident. You know what I mean? I'm doing myself a hole. But one time I was having an argument with my mom in the car and I messaged, tried to message my friend being like. <gasps> really? <laughs> I, she, my, I don't even know if my mom remembers this. This was years ago. And. Like, I was, like, young and angsty and, you know, I was going through that you can't control me mum phase even though I was, like, 12. Anyway, um, and I sent a message to my mum being, like, my mum was being such a bitch or something like that. <laughs> and mum was sitting in the front. I was in the car, so I couldn't get away mm. from it. And she was, like, did you seriously just say, oh, God, that was horrible. Imagine it, like, comes through the car. You know how, like, Tesla, <laughs> yeah. like, they, like, tell you the message. Imagine it's, like, Abby sent you a text saying, mum's such a bitch. <laughs> and mum's, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so funny yeah oh, that's man. the worst when you send a message to the wrong person yeah oh but that 
that's horrible because they don't even like know each other like that she can't even play that off you know yeah <gasps> that's oh awful my. i'm so sorry you went through that, <laughs> that is a sticky day that is a sticky anyway, day anyway moving right along she we don't understand yes what are you guessing today i'm guessing who sent it in was it vivian <sighs> yes i believe so vivian sent in a shit we don't understand how do bridge foundations work yeah and i sent back how the fuck do they work how do how okay here's here's where my brain's at how first of all do they put a bridge foundation into the water yeah are you guessing how they're built yeah Yeah. and then how does it stay built without the water pushing it and you know it corroding and like the tectonic plates moving. I'm just confused because I'm under the assumption that like there's a lot of space between the top of the water and the bottom of the water. Yeah. Especially if it's a big bridge because then why would they have a big, big bridge if the water is so deep and long? So how do – that's what she said. So how do – the bridge formations get put there and stay there. Is there an answer? Probably, but I'm going to have to do a lot of reading. I really need to pee, so I'm going to read it off the toilet. Okay. Day. Okay, so it turns out there are lots of answers. I watched a video with three, but I'm just going to make you guess the first one because that's the easiest and for me to explain and also probably for you to guess. Okay. Um. So I need to think about this. So when I – I've never seen a bridge be built – but my first one is going to be that they use a crane and they crane in like like building blocks. So like just a big block of like concrete and it just goes into the water and they build it up and up and up. And then... Maybe the way that it stays in the water is that they have to do the formations a long time before the actual bridge because then things can, like, grow on it. Maybe, like, when they put it into, like, the rocks and it hits the bottom of the of the ocean or the lake or whatever they're doing the bridge on, maybe they have to put the foundations in, which are, like, the big, blocks of things and they have to wait for the earth to like accept it and grow onto it and then when that's done then they go ahead with doing the actual part of the bridge that you drive on so maybe it takes a really 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 long time like years and years and years um no they don't put it in there years and years before the thing and is everything else right it's not blocks either no yeah but does the earth grow on it like no they do it and then they can start building the bridge as soon as it's done but what i'm asking what the i'm guessing is how it stays in the thing yeah so they don't put it in and the earth doesn't like no well not for the method that i am strictly talking about maybe they um, make holes in the earth, like at the bottom of the ocean, where the bridge formation goes in. And so it then sits in it rather than just sitting on the bottom, like the, 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 oh my God, look, 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 look. That's like that hammer thing. I'm literally not doing that. It's like right here. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Well, let's do it at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> I thought for sure you would no, put it's that not. on. It's, I'm not. I'm not putting it on. Don't be mean. <laughs> you gotta hit it on an angle. They're going in. Oh, I can't get it as good as that first one. Anyway, um, <gasps> that was a good one. Holes. What? Not ho- like well, like you're they, they, make, they make they make space in the earth. 
<laughs> they make space in the earth for the pillars to go into. They don't make space first. What the fuck? <laughs> Is it like... Whatever's at the bottom of the ocean or whatever's there, they just make a pile. Like if there's some trolleys there, they'll put them there. If there's some rocks there, they'll put them there um, and it'll just pile up. So it's like natural. Uh, not quite. You were close with the, the things going into the ground, but they don't make a hole and then put it in. Maybe they just place it there and they put... Like, not ropes, but some ties that then just hold it standing up. Do you know what I mean? Like a tent Mm -hmm. or like a marquee, how they have the, like, ropes holding it either side so it stays up nice and tall. Maybe they just put whatever they're putting in there and then do ties on either side, pulling, and then it goes into, like, whatever, nails or something, into the um, bottom of the body of water so that it's being, like, pulled in either direction and, yeah. Not quite. Do you want to just... Yeah. Okay, so basically they make like a little floaty device situation. Just like it looks like giant sheets of concrete, but it's just like a... Like they make ground on the water for them to walk around on and whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then on that they put a machine called um, a pile driver and then they get... They look like big cylinders. Like they look like big... um, pipes and they use the pile driver and the pile driver is like a giant hammer kind of thing and it like hooks onto the top and like pushes it down into the ground so basically they just push these cylinders really far into the bottom of the body of water um so that it won't like it's so far down that it's not going to move anywhere um and then they just set up a heap of them and they're like standing on the water because they're on these floaty things Mm. and then from there that's like the stilts for the bridge and then they can start building from the sides and connecting it to each upright thingy, pretty much. Basically, there's just this big, it looks like a crane, but then it's got like a hook thing on the end and it goes dum, 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 and puts it down on the ground. Anyway, uh, question of the podcast. Yeah. So the question today is, um, if we were in control of The Truman Show, if you haven't seen The Truman Show, it's a movie with Jim Carrey, go watch it, it's really good. Um, basically, his life is a TV show, but he doesn't know. Everyone in the world knows except for him, mm-hmm. and they like film him in secret and whatever, and everyone Spoiler watches alert him. alert if you haven't seen it. That's not what the movie's about, though. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, everyone in the world knows that this man is actually, his life is a TV show except for him. Um, and so, if we were in control of The Truman Show, who would we make? Truman. Truman. Do you have any to start off with? You start. Okay. This is a little bit evil, but I would make it with Donald Trump and let him think that he's still president. And then we could just like make a whole lot of... Like, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know. It would be entertaining. Though. Imagine like we just tell him that there's like a bomb coming. Or just see, like see how he deals with situations. And like he doesn't have anyone telling him he's making the wrong choice because he's not actually killing anyone. Um, I think that would be entertaining TV. I don't want to know. Okay. I don't want to know about Trump. Okay. Well, do you have any? I'd do it on, like, Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... Because he has all different... I was just listening to a podcast with him. He has all different, like, businesses. Yeah. Not yeah, businesses, but, but like projects and it's so like interesting. But we just have to watch him go into conferences and shit. No, you watch him like design things and and test rockets that are blowing up and shit like that. But not every day. Well, a lot of days. Okay. I think I'd want to do um, Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. Just for like comedic relief because I yeah. see what you're saying with like you want to get an insight but i just want to watch it and laugh yeah so i Someone would want to see kevin hart and because I, I would want to see him in his family situation and with his kids mm. because the way that he talks about his kids is so funny and his interactions with them so i'd love to see that oops he's yeah and i feel like always he'd just be like funny and just like on his game because he's yeah. always like like he's like a self-deprecating yeah comedian. so i feel like even when he's by himself it would be so funny yeah, I think someone – like, because if it was just a random – like, I was going to make a joke about Gladys, but, like, it would just be her getting up, doing her press conference, going – did you see she had a hickey? 
yeah that was a couple of weeks ago you know what i would watch a um not so much a truman show but like a just like a reality tv show about the the beckhams yeah that's a good one why don't they have a reality show i don't know that would go off because yeah i feel like that would be really interesting yeah i agree like victoria and then even the kids yeah i agree that would be very i would i would want insight like that. into that i'm trying to think of someone who's passed who could have been a great true mission like michael jackson god some secrets would come out <laughs> some secrets would come out um yeah maybe not him <laughs> no but i mean like someone like that freddie mercury someone you know like an icon who we don't know much about their everyday life elvis yeah but you can kind of assume yeah i don't think like a rock star because you'd probably see things that you wouldn't want to see well i think no matter who we pick we're gonna see things we don't want to see you know because like on the Truman show they literally like he's in the shower and stuff like yeah what's the name of um used to be an australian icon dame edna oh yeah that would be good tv cool yeah someone like that someone who like you know it's going to be entertaining no matter what time of day you turn it on. Yeah, you know? I want to watch um, RuPaul. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, see, someone like that. Yeah. I think is the way to go. I do still like the idea of throwing Trump in there and putting him in a heap of situations and just seeing what he does, but apparently that's not going down well soon. <laughs> um let us know who you would put in the truman show yeah and what you would make happen to them it's actually a bit like like it's like a weird video game yeah or like you know how you put like rats in a maze yeah (laughs) that's what i'm picturing um anyway let us know what you would do don't forget to like everything subscribe to everything whatever 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 you know the drill oh (laughs) whatever 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 whatever. (laughs) well because i was listening to our episode the other day and like we always say the same thing. You guys know what, what you should do. You get it. Yeah, but what if they're new listeners? We've got to give them a new experience, you know? Yeah. So make sure you like and subscribe to everything. Comment down below. Send us a DM on Instagram. Any suggestions, any shit we don't understand, any sticky, sticky dates. dates if you want to be featured on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Sorry to our friends that we just outed you as males. Oh, yeah. And um, be sure to... Check out the audio version of this. Be sure to check out the visual version of this. Mm. And please follow us on TikTok. We are literally like 50 people away from our, um, from 50K. We might already be there. Let me have a look. But yeah, we Lovely. need like three more people to hit 50K. Woo! Please give, do that. Yeah. And um, we'll see you next week mm-hmm. for episode number 40. Mm-hmm. We've got an exciting episode planned. That's almost a year. It is. That's scary, hey? How have we been doing this for almost a year? And we still don't have our shit together. You tell me. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, something really cool is coming, episode 40. I know we always say that, but like Mm -hmm. this one is really, really, really cool. So keep your eyes out for that, ladies and gents. And that being said, stay sexy. sexy. Is it, what is it? Bye besties. Bye besties. And and stay sexy. I forget it every week. Bye, besties, and stay sexer. That was fun. I liked that. Was something new. <laughs> and no one DM'd us about making segment intros. Oh, fake fans, all of yeah, you. Yeah, right. You. Welcome to my f-ed up home. I'm Lou Shorty. These my hoes. This is how we run this shit. Piss Olympics. Let's go. Maybe you could. <laughs>